Yes. No, I'm being told that Average Joe's does not have enough players and will be forfeiting the championship match. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. To the tournament floor we go for the Scepter presentation from the Dodgeball Chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power vested in me by our governing body, the American Dodgeball Association of America, and in concordance with our sponsors, Lumber Liquidators and Omaha Steaks, it gives me great pleasure to declare the winner of this year's Las Vegas International Tournament to be... Wait! He's here! Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. We're ready to play, Your Honor. Too late, Lafleur. Your lovable band of losers already forfeited. The trophy and the money are mine. Well, he's right. Your team is already forfeited. There's nothing you can do. Woohoo! Facial, Lafleur. Total facial. Woo! <laughs> actually, actually, that's not true. That's not true. The tournament committee can overturn the chancellor's decision. That's you, sir, by a two-thirds vote. No, well, he's right. What? He's right. Yes. Oh, it's a bylaw. It's a. It's a bylaw. What's a bylaw? Hang on a second here, folks. We might just have a championship game yet. Listen to this crowd. Unbelievable. Well, Pepper, it's clear what the crowd here wants, but the committee members have the final say. And it looks like they've come to a decision. Joe's needs two yes votes to play. There's one thumbs up. Good oh. news for Joe's. Oh, please. Let's see how our second judge votes. Thank you for the set. Oh, tough sledding there. It's all even. Their fate hangs on the thumb of our final judge. Thumbs up, average Joe's can play. This dude poppy cock. You can let them do that? Thank you, Chuck Norris. Thank you, Peter. All right, Captain. Shake hands and let's have a clean 